All right, travelers, Lisbon is going to leave you spinning. What are your first impressions? On this episode of Global Travel Guides, we have 12 top tips when visiting Lisbon, and later we check out Sintra and beyond. But first, let's learn the basics. Lisbon is the capital. Portugal's population has cracked 10 million people. The country is south of Europe, and as we're about to find out, its coastline, ceramic tiled buildings, and historic palaces draw crowds. On our way to Sintra. You just have to believe in faith. I'm Christina, and this is my partner, John. We've been traveling together since we were teenagers. When we're not working as a TV journalist and airline pilot, we're exploring the globe. Subscribe and let's get lost in Portugal. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Thank you to all our Global Travel Guide subscribers. We've just started our six week Europe holiday with our first stop being Lisbon. Here are our 12 top tips. Once you land, hit the ground running with a free walking tour to help get your bearings. Whatever you think the tour was worth is how much you tip at the end. You know what the Portuguese call the codfish? O nosso fiel amigo is the most traditional fish that you can have here in Portugal. Yum! Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Another Portuguese tradition is the famous sweet cherry liqueur. We don't eat the cherries. For less than a couple of euro a shot, it's definitely worth the taste. Oh my gosh, it's delicious! For this next stop, you'll be thankful you had a guide because this lift can be a tourist trap. 540 to get up, 150 extra to go to the very top, waiting in light for over an hour. No way. Locals know if you walk up the hill and along this bridge, you avoid the crowds, skip the line and bypass the elevator and be rewarded with the same view, free. Top tip, if you are planning on using public transport, buy one of these cards. This is how they work. That includes ferry, subway, trains, funiculars, elevators. It's all included right here. You pay 50 cents for this little card. You pay a minimum of three euros but you can put it with 5, 10, 15, and you pay as you go in every type of public transportation. And one of the most popular among tourists would have to be Tram 28. Packed in like sardines for a couple of euro, you'll pass many sites and charming neighborhoods. We prefer to explore on foot. So we stopped by this national monument, a church that took 500 years to build, but seconds to be destroyed by an earthquake and then fire. It reopened in 1994 and still showcases its scars. And so that was the end of the tour. Yeah. <laughs> Jose just gave us an incredible tour of the city. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Can you, can you tell our viewers where they can go to if they want to see one of your tours? They will go to www.highlisbon.com. It's people that are passionate about the city. Well, I'll make sure we leave details in the description below yeah. as well. Yeah. One of the... Um, oh, sh**. Uh, one of the best experiences that I think we've had, Lizzie, is putting the washing out here on the balcony. Hey, Lizzie, how was that experience? Not a bad view either, huh? Talking about views, this is one of Lisbon's most popular lookouts. There's buskers and lovers closing locks. We just walked up here from our Airbnb. The stroll took about 30 minutes. In the distance, you'll spot St. George's Castle, built 2,000 years ago by the Romans. You can add this to your itinerary or just keep walking until you make it to our farmer. It's one of Lisbon's oldest areas, picturesque and lined with shops and cafes claiming to have the best view in town. Take it all in with some olives and fresh lemonade. Another cool view is from Park. It's literally a car park with a bar positioned on its rooftop. It's a busy vibe. And ladies, if you're heading out, don't bother with heels here. Everyone wears sneakers for obvious reasons. Come follow me to a secret place where only the So as the sun set over Lisbon and its Christ the King shrine, we picked up dinner at the bustling timeout market. Put yourself in a food coma with prosunto, cheese, 
Portuguese tarts and other incredible desserts because tomorrow you're going to need energy because we're off to Sintra. It's quite romantic. It reminds me of a fairy tale setting. Very hands Christian Anderson. There's like nothing to hold on to. Tomorrow we are heading to Sintra, one of my favorite places in Portugal. You don't want to miss it. It is just divine. It has to be on your schedule. And as part of this six week journey through Europe, we're also going up to Porto. We're going to be checking out some of the incredible beaches along Portugal. We'll then make our way into Spain. I'm feeling like I have vertigo big time. We're also going up to Amsterdam. Paris and then some Greek islands. So make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Global Travel Guys.